Welcome back guys. I think it's been a couple of months since I posted an update on the solar kiln. We just got our first batch of dried lumber out of it and we've identified some issues with it. Check this out. So here are three uh, really really nice boards that came out of that first batch that went into the kiln and you can see these have been planed already and these are just absolutely beautiful. Uh, no mold, no anything like that on them. Uh, they just look great. But if we go over here uh, we can see there's two different stacks right here and one of the issues that I'm having with the kiln is mold and I believe that's caused by poor airflow. If you look at this board right here, that's a nice board, but if you come over here and look at this board, you're starting to get some of that black mold right there. And this board has already been plain and you can see it just does not come off of it in the least. Um, it actually goes all the way through the board and it's not going to be used for an interior board at all. Uh, we'll probably use it for an exterior board, but let's dig into the stack a little bit and I'll show you. It really just gets worse and worse as you go. Here we go. Here's a great example right here. You see that one? That one is very dark. Uh, it's got a lot of dark spots on it and it's, um, yeah, it's, it's useless as far as interior boards go. I'll, I'll be able to use it for the outside of the house, but for the inside it's not going to be any good. So. Um, what we'll do is we'll just go to the kiln and see if we can fix this. I really think that my mold problem can be alleviated by some more airflow. This kiln gets very hot during the daytime and it's very dry also. I don't think ventilation on the back of the kiln is a problem and uh, really I think our problem is going to be primarily the fans. So I've gotten a couple of extra fans, a couple of new fans, and what we're going to do today is we're going to wire up an, an extra box, an extra electrical outlet in the kiln, move the one that's already here, and put timers in the kiln also. So let's go ahead and get started and see if we can fix some of these problems the kiln's having. I'm going to go ahead and apologize in advance because I don't know what kind of footage I'm going to be able to get in here. Uh, it's pretty cramped and there's wood in here and I'm just trying to work around all of it. We'll just do the best that we can. So we're going to start off by taking these fans, this one fan in the center down and making a couple of extra holes over here on the sides. And of course we'll take this flap and put it up and uh, permanently to, to uh, help with uh, help seal the top up here. And then we'll put the fans on the side and uh, we'll go ahead and uh, get, some, get, some, get some new wiring going as well. I really hate to play into this, um, I really hate to play into this southern stereotype of fixing everything with duct tape, but I thought about it and I really think that's my best option right here. I'll hold this stuff up and seal all the cracks at the same time. So these are the type of fans that we're using. The last brand, I believe, was Lasco or something like that. But, I mean, they're, they're all pretty much basically the same exact thing. I'm sure they come from the, from the same factory in China. But let's open this up and see what we got here. This will be a lot nicer because these fans are up high in the kiln. Sometimes I struggle with the uh, switch and it's nice that this switch is out front. It's going to be a going to be an improvement.
I've been thinking about it for a couple of days, and I think my best bet is to just go ahead and utilize this hole that I've already got and put three fans up instead of two. That'll triple my airflow and uh, I won't have to have this ugly duct tape up here. And maybe my boards will dry even faster.
Aw, stupid. <sighs> that was a dumb thing to do. Try that again. Test it out. Not sure how well y'all can see this, but I've got this set to come on at 9 a.m. and go off at 8 p.m. All of the ones in the range where I want the fan to be on are depressed and the little plastic things where I don't want the fan to be on are, uh, are out. Uh, this kind of looks like the kind of looks like the uh, Christmas tree outlet from A Christmas Story. Remember the dad had all of that junk in the outlet and it blew the fuse well, anyway, hopefully it doesn't act like that. <laughs> 